County animal control officers plan to file charges against the owner of a pit bull that killed a small dog as its elderly owner took it for a walk this morning. The owner was also hurt. Kim Bias reports on the latest in a string of attacks by the controversial breed. Early this morning on this South Valley street, an 88-year-old woman taking her little dog for a walk had a confrontation with this pit bull. There was a large uh, pit bull that was at large and uh, attacked her small dog, killing it. Um, the woman was not uh, bitten or, or attacked firsthand by the animal, uh, but she did sustain a broken arm when she fell back during the attack. She was treated at the scene and taken home by a family member. The pit bull was taken by Bernalillo County Animal Control. He now sits in a kennel with blood still on his paws, his head down. Animal Control says it has no history with this dog or its owner, but they are moving forward with charges for allowing a dog to run at large, for not having a license or vaccinations. And they will try to get this dog deemed vicious. If it is, it will be put down. The owner of the dog has decided not to willingly surrender it. That means this case could go to court. This is just one of several attacks recently involving pit bulls. Earlier this month, a pit bull killed its owner in Santa Fe. A week later, a pit bull killed a toddler in Las Cruces. And just last week, one tore a tiny dog from a little girl's arms and killed it while at a Roswell Park. A North Carolina man whose pit bulls were running loose and killed a five-year-old girl last year was recently sentenced to two years in prison for involuntary manslaughter.